We're going to talk about The Nightingale, which is in cinemas this week as well. Is now, this a Japanese horror or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, funny, funny you say horror. Yeah. Because it, it's directed, it's written and directed by Jennifer Kent, who a few years ago made The Babadook. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, very good. Yeah. Right, it's The Babadook. It, exactly. Who didn't? Yeah. The Babadook was great. It's Babadook. Babadook? Yeah, it's Babadook. Babadook. Two O's oh. in there, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Everyone always says it to me as Babadook. Well, I've always had it said to like, me as Babadook. Like, quack duck. <laughs> yeah, weird. <laughs> anyway, let's talk more about this anyway, film about, that one. <laughs> from, from the duck to the, to the nightingale. Uh, so this is uh, more less, this is still a horror movie, but less of a conventional horror movie. This is more of a psychological horror movie sort of pitched as a, rev- a, a sort of icy revenge period piece drama thriller with a survivalist element. Wow. Okay, it stars uh, F- uh, Ashling Franciosi, uh, I think that's how you pronounce her name, as a young Irish uh, Irish convict in a British penal colony in 19th century Tasmania that is overseen by Sam Claflin, who, oh. is, who is in two movies we are reviewing we, yes, back to is. back this Yeah, and week. I'm sure very different in both movies. <laughs> Um, <laughs> okay, fine. There's a lot of spit and scenery chewing. Anyway, <laughs> so he does that in one at least. Uh, he, basically, he and his corrupt men uh, kill her husband and newborn baby, and then gang rape her, and then leave to go off to on 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 one of their military uh, expeditions. Uh, she obviously decides, I'm going to go after him. I want me some revenge. But along the way, she has to just take a guide, uh, 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 Billy, along the way, along the way for her, uh, who's one of the locals. This is like Tasmania, so this is during Britain's uh, very harsh period of colonialism. And it gets a little trippy. We're all all right. We're all all right. We're all all right. We're all all right. We're all all right! We're all all right! We're all all right! We're all all right! So, so a nice, a nice, easy rom com then. Yeah, just like Mandy was. Remember Mandy? Yeah, it's like that without the chainsaw fights. Okay. Um, this is brutal. This is grim. Yeah, it doesn't really sound like one up my street. It's. Do you remember the Revenant? Yes. Do you remember how by the how end of the... How little people spoke. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Remember, like, at the end of the Revenant, you really just want to put your coat on and, like, your scarf and bundle yeah. up really... What, because you felt chilly and cold. Yes. So I, I, this is the worst I have felt that since the Revenant. Oh, wow. And the worst I have felt it before the Revenant was ravenous. Okay. So... So you're getting... Yeah. So it's a good... There's, there's that immersion. There is that immersive quality. Uh, the star, as always, Jennifer Kent, she, she just crafts atmosphere like nobody else. Yeah. Uh, I think Sam Clayford, he's really good in this. He does. When he picks the right movies, we mm. are going to talk about him in the next movie that we're going to yeah. come on to as well. When he picks the right movies and he does it well, he's a very, very good actor. Mm, indeed. Yeah. Um, he can really throw his hand to a lot a lot of different things. But, um, yeah, I, I'm good. It's good to see that he's in this. I think it, uh, he's still waiting for his star turn. I think oh, it's the yeah, problem. Definitely. Do you know who else is in this? Go on then. Uh, this is this is he's in two for two in two weeks. Okay. Uh, Damon Harriman, okay. who was in Judy and Punch last week. You remember the guy yes. I said was Charlie Manson? Yes. Once upon a time. He's in this same kind of uh, of just salivating nasty performance. Yeah. And I'm I'm intrigued by this guy. I'm really uh, really intrigued to see what he comes out with next. Like this guy's got a huge star turn in him somewhere. Amazing. I'm I'm, I'm as a good the character days. actor, would you say? I think so. In, in fact, because we've been talking about the guy earlier, there's something of the Robert Carlyle about him. Oh. So I could, I could absolutely see that. I think he's waiting for that character role that will okay. come along sooner or later oh that would be interesting mm. yeah nice. but as I say the uh, the nice girl it's not for everyone it is about half an hour too long because it's Annoying. about two and a quarter hours oh it's long I will say as well this had two and a quarter out. or two and three quarters two and a quarter okay um, it, it did get walkouts when it was shown at certain film festivals uh, by the squeamish over people who took serious objection to some of the graphical sexual content of it bear in mind this features two rape scenes before you get to the end of the first reel. Okay. So, it, it's, a, it's, it's not going to be easy watching, it's no. It's not no, easy No, but watch. as long as it's not done in a gratuitous way and it's there to it, support the story, mm. you know, it, it's justified. Exactly. And Jennifer Kent herself has turned around and justified saying, I'm sorry, this is not a film to be comfortable in. The, the reason those scenes are there is they aren't gratuitous. They are to show you how brutal and horrifying this, this thing. And it is apparently based on real attitudes at the time and things that locals have to ask. Look, this really represents what happened. Mm. This represents how they behaved. Okay. 
Uh, so, absolutely. in terms of grim thumbs up, what <laughs> would you give it? I'll give it two thumbs up. Yeah, uh, okay. Actually, uh, thumb and a half for the thumb length, and actually. Half. Thumb, and a, okay. thumb and a half for the length. Okay, yeah. and no walkouts. No walkouts no from walkouts. me. No walkouts, okay, fine. <laughs>